So now let's see how we can use the turnaround camera plugin inside of Blender. So over here you can see that I got a cube right here and let's say I want to turn around this camera one round um, around this cube right here. So in order to do that you need to go around into edit and in preferences you can scroll down and under animation you can see turn around camera is an option right here. So what you need to do is you need to enable this and once you enable that out you can expand this and you can see animate is an option right here. So you got the turnaround camera right here and now what you need to do is you need to have a camera by default over here. So I already have a camera so this will work out. So you can see that you can choose around the camera which you want to apply the turnaround effect to as well. So in my case I only got one. You can set the start and end frame and choose the axis but without changing anything at all I'm just going to select out the object now and click on turnaround. So once I do that what happens is that the turnaround has been added in. So if I were to press the play button, you can see that it turns around right here. So the camera rotates around the object right here. So I'm just going to go around right here and then I'm going to select the camera, press zero on my key. And if I were to go around and press play button right here, you can see that it is a turnaround effect uh, for the cube right here. It turns around one round right here. Similarly, you want to change the end frame, then you can go around and let's say I want it to end by 100. And let's say I want the camera to turn around on X axis as well. So over here, I'm going to add in one as well. Maybe for Z, I need two rounds right here. This is going to be really fast right here. But anyways, I'm going to apply this and click on turn around. So now what happens is that you can see that if I were to press the play button, you can see that the camera really turns around, not the way I had hoped for but anyways let, let me just go around right here and then work around with this so i'm just going to go around delete off this camera right here create a new camera uh over here i'm going to create a new camera over here so there you go there's the camera so i'm just going to go around and move this out so let me just go around move this over here just like this all right so now what i'm going to do is select this out so camera is selected and over here on the z axis let me just set it to to itself and click on turn around. So now what happens is that it turns around on this object right here. So if I were to press the play button, you can see that the camera actually turns around two rounds right here. I can press zero right here to see the view right here. So I just want to change around the view. So I can just go around, rotate this out right here to change out the view over here as well. So let me just go around, rotate out right here. Let me just rotate this out and then drag this down over here as well. So if I were to press zero, then this is what I have right here. You can rotate around the camera over here as well. And this is what you have. You got the turn around over here, as you can see right here. So you got the dip right here, and you can see that it turns around two times, as you can see right there. So that is how you can work around with turn around camera inside of Blender. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.